Here we are with the 115 pound WBA world champion Joshua Franco. How was the? How, we had a, a meet and greet for you today. Yeah. How, how was the turnout? How do you feel about it? Turnout was really good. You know, the whole place was packed. Uh, I heard there was a line like going down. You know, the the block right here. So you know, it was a good turnout, bro. And a lot of people. It was it's crazy. Is is it crazy to see this? Uh, just from two regular San Antonio boys, you and uh, you and your brother Bam, yeah, it, making I mean, it like this. Yeah, bro, for sure, it's pretty crazy. You know, all the support we had, all the people that came out. Uh, I, I don't know if the support was like that, but you know, it shows. It shows. Now you're coming off a big win over Maloney, uh, third fight. Juan, Juan clearly, you know, basically finished the unsettled business that you have. What, what's what's looking next for you? We, um, here in Estrada, a lot of rumors about Estrada. How do you feel about that fight? And is that something that you, that you want to do? Yeah, you know, I've been I've been ready for you know all, the, all those all those fights. You know, Chocolatito, Estrada, Ioka, uh, uh, all the champions with the belts. You know, um, I've been ready, but um, you know, I'm I'm looking to aim for uh, Estrada next. How did it feel seeing uh, your brother Bam win a, win a world title against Carlos Cuadros, who's a very difficult fighter, very hard fighter? Yeah. How, how did that feel you you uh, watching him win, and how did you feel about his performance? Uh, he did he did great, you know. Uh, he did excellent. Uh, he did what he was supposed to do. You know, he jumped up two weight classes, and you know, in like five days. So I mean, uh, and he still he dropped. He was able to you know hurt him, drop him, you know, touch him up, and he won. So I mean, shit, I, mean, I, I wasn't surprised, you know, when, when my brother, you know, when he became world champion. Do you see you and and you and your brother Bam headlining a card here in San Antonio yeah, in, in the sure. near future? Yeah, for sure, bro. Um, you know that's what Robert was telling us right now that you know he's looking you know for May to to get a card you know with me and my brother uh, headlining you know each other, so it, it'll be good. Now, as I mentioned, there was rumors about you and Estrada. How about you you versus Chuck Letito or perhaps your brother versus Chuck Letito? How do you see those fights? Any any of those fights are good. Uh, my brother, he's one of the best in, in the 115 division. You know, he, he can fight any of the champions and, you know, he'll beat them. But I think he's going to go down and, you know, and wait, you know, to get a world title at 112 or 108. And then he's going to move back up to 115. But, I mean, my brother, he's ready for any of the champions at 115, 108, 112. Any of them. So, you know, it'll, it'll be good. Do you feel 115 is the most underrated weight class maybe in boxing right now? Uh, it probably is, but you know it's picking back up now. You know a lot of a lot of fighters, and then my, my brother. You know, but the, when he just got, you know, he made uh, some more noise for the weight, so it's good. What are what are some of the fights yourself that you're looking forward to? Um, you got Spence Ugas, uh, rumors of Ryan Garcia fighting here in San Antonio, and then you got Canelo possibly fighting either Dimitri Bivol or Charlo. Yeah. What what fights are those interest you? Do you want to see? Uh, I want to see um, the 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 fucking. Uh, <laughs> What did you just say right now? Canelo, oh, Canelo versus yeah. Charlo or Canelo, Canelo versus yeah. uh, I wanna uh, Bivol? I want to see Canelo Charlo. That, that's a good fight. Uh, even ben, David Benavides versus Charlo. Uh, Caleb Plant versus Charlo. And then, uh, shit, I mean, uh, I just want to see good fights pretty much, you know? Canelo versus Charlo. How do you see that fight playing out if it happens? Uh, I, I feel like it'll be, com it'll be a competition. You know, they're both, you know, strong fighters. Both, you know, have strong... Uh, that strong will, so you know it, they'll, they'll go at it, and I feel like it'll end like in a knockout. Some, somebody will get knocked out. Now, do you feel like uh, yourself and Bam y'all so stamped yourselves in, in San Antonio, and now for you know for the rest of the country, the rest of the nation to to figure out to find out who y'all are? Yeah, most definitely. You know, um, we you know we're making our name here in San Antonio. My brother, you know, he he, he made us bigger. You know, with the win he just got, two world champions in weight class. It's crazy, bro. Uh, it, it, it's good. It's good. Do you feel like this is just the beginning of, of something a lot bigger? Uh, I feel like it is. You know, it, it's getting started now. Uh, yeah, it, it is. It is the beginning. Do you see? Do you see yourself staying at one fifteen or possibly moving up to maybe one eighteen? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say at one fifteen for as, as long as I can make it, and if I can, then I'll move up to one eighteen. But you know, one fifteen, I'll be here for like, I'll be here. As, as we talked about, you had the good win over Maloney. Do you feel like a win over somebody who's on the Estrada is on the pound for pound list that can that can put your place in boxing? Yeah, for sure. That, that'll be a big win for me. You know, I, I'll be undisputed champion if, if I were to you know uh, beat Estrada. Um, that, like I said, that's a fight I wanted. That's that's a fight I've been wanting. So I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready for whoever and whenever. Now um, you got Chuck Letito fighting uh, Cesar Martinez. It was originally supposed to be Chocolito, Chocolito and Estrada again. Mm -hmm. Who do you think wins between Chocolatito and uh, Cesar Martinez? Uh, I think Chocolatito stops him. I think in the later rounds, uh, you know, uh, Martinez, is, he doesn't have, you know, the experience or, you know, all, all the skills that Chocolatito has. I feel like Chocolatito's going to be too much for him, you know, in later rounds. 
Is there is there a guy you prefer to fight in 115? Estrada, Chuck Lethito. Is there one guy that you want to fight in boxing right now? I want to fight Chuck Lethito. I want to fight. You know, Estrada. Those are the two big fights that I want. You know, any of the champions. I want to fight. I want to, you know, unify with any of the champions. It was a pleasure speaking with you today, Josh. Appreciate you.